eight or nine? I think so. I did a couple on my own, um, so I don't know whether to count those or not. But oh yeah, might be more. I finally changed over. I got rid of the steaming pile logos and just changed it to weird news. Oh, nice. On yeah, here, so it I... says TS. Yeah, on mine it says TSP Productions yeah. presents weird news. Okay. It doesn't what have do my too... lower third formatted like I used to have, but whatever. I've got that real simple mock-up for a logo um, that I'll send you to of just the TSP that I've got on the YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah, send it my way. And my idea is to give you access to the Gmail, YouTube. Um, there's a lot of different things we, you can, like, have multiple people running. Uh, the Twitter. I'm going to try and switch it all over Okay. to Twitter because right now it's being controlled by my main Gmail because I actually have, like, a junk Gmail in there business one kind of so. yeah i'm the same yeah i don't know how hard it is to switch emails with twitter but we're gonna find out <laughs> um, i don't know i was gonna i was talking about uh, our past uh steaming pile guest james um uh Peretta. i forgot his name for a second mm -hmm. last name uh, with neighborhood heroes he does um lots of live streams and he's actually going for affiliate on on Twitch and is looking to build like a team that each of them will have a you know a scheduled day that they stream something and everyone else on the team you know tries to rep it basically what we do but with gaming kind of thing you know and on different days so they cover the full week right and so it really got me like oh man that's kind of a a good opportunity that I'd hate to pass up by just being because really, I'm again. I've talked about this a million times. I'm looking for opportunities, just as much as fun and, and mm -hmm. community. And that's a community. It's on Twitch, and they're like D Live. What? It's just not big enough for them yet. And I understand, especially since if they're good enough and popular enough that they're, you know, messing with affiliate, you know, then yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. But we did play Jackbox the other day, and okay, I'm too raunchy for his channel. I've got to tone it down. I was like, my bad, dude. <laughs> I forget that that's it's why, like a yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Right, right. Yeah, I was like, "Oops, <laughs> you're it, asking for trouble." Why, yeah, he, even on the show, like he, he, you know, he was on the show, and we're all like cussing like sailors, and he's like, "Ooh, yeah, yeah, I can engage with you guys, but I, you guys can never come on my show." <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's good at it too, because it's not like he's like that in person, right? I mean, I've hung out with him; he's just a normal dude. Right, right, right. Um, but he knows his audience. He knows what he's got to do. His niche. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Well, again, welcome. Let's go P I P. Boom. Okay. Well, that looks alright. Weird news. Our first one of the day is going to be Hennessy. Is our uh, headline, anyways? I'm gonna go ahead and share. You guys have to wait on my end for Sean to share the screen. Boom. There we go. Man wanted for stealing 24 bottles of Hennessy from a Wisconsin Costco. Yeah. Yeah. There's pictures too. Or at, yeah. Yeah. So there's the guy. He just, yeah. And I get this too, because first of all, Hennessy, you know, top yeah, of the line. It is whatever. what it is. Right. Yeah. I mean, go for it. Right. It's not, at least he's not, it's not like something shitty. <laughs> um, and I don't know if you've frequented the Costco's, especially if it's busy. I could see you being able to walk out with shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. The hardest part is would be getting through one of the lines. Because like, if it's so busy, you could walk out, then like every line is blocked or sectioned off. So you'd have to kind of just embrace the craziness. But I could see you getting in there and... and Look at that. Basketball. Look at that. He's got a, he's, how many is that? 24? 24, one for every hour of the day, my friend. Wow. He was ready to party. Okay. Or total value of 1500 bucks. Eh. Did they find him? No. Uh, yeah. I think, it, let's see. Doug, um, it says any agencies of similar thefts and anyone able to assist with suspect identification is please ask to call the Menominee yeah. Falls Police Department. Menominee, old Menominee Falls. Good for him. I, you know, I hope he drinks it all before they find him. 
<laughs> yeah, at least you'll go to jail loaded, right? right. <laughs> or dead. Or dead. <clears throat> Good old Fox. They get some grand, grand old stories. Yeah, yeah, as long as it's actually covering what they are saying. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. What was that last week when they had the clickbait links at the bottom that yeah. were for an unrelated story? Exactly. So if I go uh, sidebar and then TV again, boom, and then we move up to our next story, which is, I mean, I... It's not creative, but I called it vag needles. So how many needles are too many in the vagina? That's the question. One? Maybe. I, mean, <laughs> I don't one know. Would, one could argue. I don't have one. Like, yeah. I have no idea. Burger King workers call cops on snarling woman with set. Oh, I can't even read the rest of that. Yeah. First of all, you lost me at snarling woman. No, thank, <laughs> no thank you. Is there any other way to be with seven syringes in your badge? I mean, come on. That's a lot. I mean, I don't have one, but I a can woman imagine. A reportedly snarled at the employees as they tried to convince her to leave the bathroom. Police officers were eventually called to the scene when they made a startling discovery. Authors are claiming that seven syringes were discovered. Oh, hidden. So she's so the lids are on them. I mean, safety first, John. Right? Naturally. I, I'm, I hope. But why? Does it say why? It never says why. She agreed to be searched and became agitated. Showed several times of narcotic usage. I mean, this is... Something else. It's bad. Things where she told officers that she fucked up. Yeah, think. <laughs> yeah, think. I fucked up. I'm sorry. Wow. Can you go on a warning? Come on. Yeah, Possession so. of drug paraphernalia. See, we almost, I almost want to play this just for... Just you know it's going to be a shitty commercial. <laughs> Courthouse crosses. At least it's something that's, like, topical and not, like, a Gillette commercial. The Freedom, for Wisconsin-based Freedom, the group called on the four crosses on San Jacinto County Courthouse to be taken down. Oh, this is... See, because again, it violates the Constitution. This is what Fox does. It's a whole fucking story on this. And has nothing to do with it. Has the nothing story. to do with anything. Last time, uh, we fell for it again. Oh, it's all it's all on me. Look at all Damn of it. that advertising. Look at that. I know. Yeah. Shop now and get your Fox News hat red. I think it's a dangerous thing to do because she may have been pricked. Too true. Too true. <laughs> yeah, wait, we gotta read some more of these. I don't remember any syringes being involved, but I've known many snarling women. <laughs> uh oh. Uh-oh, Altos. Careful, buddy. Ex-wives, not mine, come to mind. Ew, who discovered the syringes? Sucky job at the jail. I'd be snarling, too, if I had seven syringes sticking in me. That's right. Looks a little like Did a I... jelly really. I remember that, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Did she? I guess I didn't get a good look at her. Yeah, I mean, that was one of his... That was the issue. Yeah. Let's see if I really Where's this snar... Yeah, there oh, is. there she is. She a does bit. look a little, yeah, Angelina could Not play her. Yeah. Angelina could play her in. That's that's how fucking seven. shady they are. They're like, oh, here's the story. And they're like, psych! It's about a town right. hall meeting. Oh my god, you're right. That's crazy. That I didn't realize weird. that was the same box. Let's see if I can click it before it changes. Oh, and then it... Nope. It changed. It, it was a leak. If you click it before it changes, so it leaks being you diagnosed with advanced Dude, non-smoke. how does anyone go to that site? It's interesting. All right, all right. So next, we've got Fallen. This was crazy. So this is just a dude that fell while climbing and lived. And uh, it's a pretty... I mean, obviously, when you get, like, a chest-mounted video, it's... I have to see the headline. There we go. Climber's camera captures his horror. Oh, so okay. So you're gonna, so the video's coming up. Yep, sixty foot free fall. After this fucking Zyrtec ad. There's the dude afterwards. Recovering. Ooh, and he caught it all on his chest cam. Yep. Wow. Man, how long is it? It said eighteen oh. seconds. Now we're buying Zyrtec. It's had one of one. Two seconds left. Here we go. Fall caught on camera, a free climber in Colorado slipping, his GoPro rolling the whole time. Tonight, how he survived. Here's Clayton Sandell. 
Climbing, jumping, and enjoying the view from the Flatiron Mountains near Boulder, Colorado, Kyle Walker says he'd done this dozens of times, and on this day, he's free climbing, no ropes. But then Walker tells the Boulder Daily Camera newspaper and his whoa. foot slips. Ouch. The camera strapped to his chest, capturing his 60-foot tumble in April down the rock face oh, to a painful gosh. landing, oh. then moaning in and out of consciousness. Walker tells the paper he broke both wrists and his pelvis. He also had eight busted ribs and a punctured lung, but was alive. Damn. He was discovered by a hiker about an hour later and finally rescued. Baller. Walker tells the paper he healed remarkably quickly and is already out of the hospital. Tom? Incredible he survived that. All right, Clayton, thank you. All right, Clayton. Sarah's last wish and payment. <laughs> Crazy, no. though. Wow. Feeling good? Oh, yeah. So that was, uh... Yeah, that was uh, intense. But again, doesn't show too much, but the, the, the okay, time so. he's in the air with nothing happening, holy shit. I mean, he's just free falling. It's hard for me to stay on track when I saw something about a manatee orgy. So right. like, I, I, can't, know. Like, I can't, I can't That's look ahead. Nice. I have to like, I have to like not look ahead. No, this but, is yeah, perfect. That, that, going right to that my friend <laughs> the mating ball of manatees caused a traffic jam in tampa bay on the 10th um there they are kind of just huddled up together i guess they're kind of just hanging out doing they're it they're just hanging out doing their thing you know cocktails nothing to see here people i love that, that way to go fox down. 13 news twitter i know they're on it right i would have stopped too i've been like oh my gosh that is crazy oh here we go oh there we go No sound? No sound. Yeah, looks like they're just swimming around. So how do we know this is an orgy? Yeah, exactly. It looks like they're just, (laughs) this is like post? Is that what it's so cloudy? Like, like there's a, is there embellishment? Or did they like actually interview scientists and said, no, this is actually their mating season? That's a fair question. I was kind of going with right? it. Right? I mean, that the headline looks like a 17-year-old just kind of picked up the video and wrote up a post. I mean, they're stating it like it is. This incredibly non-erotic manatee orgy is actually called a mating ball. Okay. They're pretty rare to see, which is why motorists backed up traffic on the causeway to get a view. Okay, okay. So they're having a mating ball. Hmm. Cool. You know? They're free. Yeah. yeah. It's free love, man. Exactly. MIT blockchain course. What have you been searching that that's showing up in your uh, Google know, AdSense? Right? That's that's good. <laughs> going? Goodness. You going? No. <laughs> I, I, MIT. <laughs> you got it. It's a little high. It's a little high end. But. <laughs> All right. So next we're going with, I'm on Olds Love Ice Cream. Where is it? All right. So scammer sentenced for using ice cream to lure seniors into genetic testing. Yeah. Did, what, did they like offer him like coupons for Frosties from Wendy's? Uh, well, a New Jersey man was defrauded, uh, who defrauded Medicare by using the promise of ice cream to lure senior citizens into genetic testing was sentenced to four years in prison. Wow. Or more than. Uh, he pleaded guilty to health fraud. Um, he... Uh, and others used a nonprofit, the Good Samaritans of America, to gain access to senior housing complexes where they persuade residents to submit to genetic tests. He, um, he advertised serving free ice cream to lure residents to the presentations. Uh, the seniors were told the test would help them guard against heart attacks, cancer, and other illnesses. We are so mean to our old people. I mean, I hate to be laughing hysterically at this story. <laughs> <laughs> we are so mean to our old people, but... Rufus said he was, would advertise he was serving free ice cream to lure residents. Well, you said that. The seniors were told to test. Yeah, you said that. Wow. They defrauded Medicare of 430000 and made more than 100000 in commissions from labs. Oh, okay. So they were, was... selling the, they were selling the DNA to the labs. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what they... Wow, what the, that's pretty cool. Was... People are smart, Man. dude. Man, old Start people, up like... your own nonprofit. The Good yeah, Samaritans of America, yeah. and that get like no one thinks that that you might want to look at that. 
exactly. We're the yeah. good Samaritans from America. Oh, really? What's your uh, business plan? <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream parties, dude. Ice cream parties and DNA tests. Yeah. Next up is the cover-up. This one, boom, is... Here, I should put them in order, but I don't. Large perfume theft from, oh, come on. From Ulta Beauty Store leads to car chase with two arrested. They try to cover up their license plate with a pair of women's underwear. Seems Ooh. a little too, not a good way to be inconspicuous in my uh it's turning into a chase in the North Bay with the assailants using a very bizarre method to cover their tracks. <laughs> Nibby Vasquez is in Napa tonight with a chain of events that unfolded. Joe? This is Ulta Beauty here on Tranca Street in Napa. It's a store that sells beauty supplies. Today, someone stole nearly $4,000 worth of perfume from this store, then took off. That's according to Napa police, who reported it on their Facebook page. Napa police say their detectives spotted the car and then chased it down Highway 29. When it crossed the town limits, the American Canyon police also got involved in the chase. Police say the suspects tried to jump the railroad tracks in American Canyon, but did not make it. Mm. Take a close look at the rear license plate of the getaway car. While it is common for theft suspects to hide their license plates, this was a highly unusual cover. It appears to be Lacey Lingerie. Ooh. Police say they arrested two female suspects. We reached out to Napa police, and they would not elaborate on their Facebook post. The manager at Ulta Beauty told me she couldn't comment. In Napa, on the night beat, I'm Joe Hoskins. On the night beat. <laughs> on the night beat. We're going to need you to go, old, go to Ulta Beauty and also see if you can zoom in real close on that license plate. SHN's 1920 $4, season is now on sale. Guarantee your seats to five blockbusters. It's not a bad. It's not a bad go. Dude, the right. way the way that these news websites invade your internet experience is a tragedy. They don't have any other way to make money. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> so I complain. I, I complain. Meanwhile, I'm like, how can spot. how can yeah. we do the news and not have it so shitty? Yeah. Next. Oh, my favorite people, fat, fat Spaniards. Oh, drug oh, dealing cool. zones in the park. Did we do that one? Not yet. That's coming up. Oh, okay, Next okay. Up. Oh, you're not it going is. in order. I don't care. I don't care. Well, these should be in order, but I kind of just throw these on and then make the the lineup. Because if you if you watch, I have like a scrolling of the. It's like a. Um, next up. Next up, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, now we're at Fuck Delta. That's why I'm about like, the airline. Fuck Delta. Yeah, exactly. This one's uh, definitely. There you go. It's as simple as that. I'll click it there. Union dues cost around seven hundred a year. New video game system with the latest hits sounds like fun. Put your money towards that instead of paying dues to the union. <laughs> right. Uh, it's wow. It's super cheap. Like oh, okay. That's Delta kind of put that on there. What? W w where is that? Let's see. Um... Signs from the airline saying that the, uh, that a year of union dues costs more than a gaming system have not gone over very well. People don't like out. unions, man. Right? Why well, they don't used like to? Unions. To love. When their families depended on them. You know how to love better than any of us. That's why you find it all so. There you go. Let's take it around that. Lamb for suggesting its workers buy video games and skip paying their union dues. The airline's latest anti-union message appeared on flyers and reads, Union dues cost around $700 a year. A new flyers. video game system with the latest hits sounds like fun. I know that's... Put your money towards that instead of paying dues to the union. It's your money. The backlash was swift, with many taking to Twitter to circulate images of the printed piece and share their thoughts on the matter. One person noted, If you pay your union dues, you can negotiate for a better salary for you so you can still buy your dumb console, and also can help you negotiate reasonable hours so you can play your dumb console. <laughs> While another <laughs> said, I didn't think this could be real, but apparently it is. Wow. That's a great point. 
<laughs> good good video geo beats even though it sounded like that was a auto red bot yeah the angle was good though i liked the, mm-hmm. the, the idea of it yeah so it was a flyer they handed around it, it wasn't now see you know they didn't Still. post that stuff publicly i'm like i'm like is that an ad on their like fleek, frequent flyer magazine or something but of course was, not. But no, it's just a fl- just like an internal flyer that they passed out. That's what I mean, though. It would be. I think the, is nothing new. That's the backlash sure. would be more if it were if they were. At, I mean, if you want to go balls to the wall and bust up the union, put it in a magazine. Put it on in in, in the back of every seat. Show everyone how you think, rather than just your employees that you're trying to strong arm. They already didn't want what's happening to happen, and that's why they hadn't done it right. And so. They were like, yeah, but it's not going to be a big deal. They, I mean, I, for sure, someone high yeah. up didn't – someone should have been able to be like, hey, but the people that aren't happy with this or agree with this are going to tweet it. Do we want this out? And I can't imagine they would have been like – True. I mean – No, that's yeah, true. It's a PR it, – I can't remember – I can't imagine if it, it's a PR move, but is it a good one or a bad one? It's like you're going to – it's hard to imagine people – thinking like oh this will go over well i I don't know how you 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 imagine that going over well at all ever i mean it's one thing to do it in the dark but to be like let's just i mean they're not um hiding it at all it's just straight up oh yeah Uh, that's right that's true yeah i mean that's the one thing like my dad's super conservative about certain stuff the one thing i can always get him to agree with me on when it comes to more liberal stuff is unions why he's part of one he's he doesn't have work but is still getting paid right now because he's in a union that really makes people like them so of course when you don't let them you know you know function and you badmouth them all the time people are like oh yeah unions you know it doesn't make sense but still you you got people that still remember when yeah. this country was, there are yeah. no other groups of people out there that are fighting for workers' rights. Yeah. I mean, you know, you yeah, there are you can you can find examples of of bad decisions and bad things that unions have done, just like you could find bad examples of. I mean, just look at the guy who who started the nonprofit, right? So should we ban people from starting their own nonprofits? No. Right. I mean, it's the same thing. Uh, workers have a right to organize. Now, I think the only I think one w- way to combat it in the future, and we've talked about it before, is just to have cooperative w- work our own cooperatives and just do that as opposed to it. So then you can just have a company where people have a stake in ownership and have a vote in the decision making. That's so, true. Yeah. What are you going to do nice. when shit like this happens? Yeah. What I'm going to do is stop sharing for a second. And welcome to Weird News Weekly on D Live and Vim. Put your chats in. We'll read them in. Let's see. Comment on your stories. I put on mine too that if they wanted to submit, that uh, I'll just put them in our Discord and we'll consider them for next week's episode. Exactly. So just put them in the comments. And we'll count that. Any link that's put in there, we'll count that as a submission for next week. You might get in. All right, so what I want to do is select a speaker. All right. You can still hear me? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And let's go up. Are we going to dance? Is this some kind of interlude? No, no. I wanted to make sure my sound was good. Oh. Um, for some reason, it looked like it was not on properly. So, for some reason, I have like a um, half a dozen audio channels, but they're all muted, and so I need to go through and. I've had that. I've had that in the past. For sure. I don't know what the hell is going on. It's crazy. But all right, we're we're set now. So now we're going from anti-union to um, man jacked it and churchgoers relieved. No, I just went with that uh, headline because, I mean, they weren't getting shot at. So that's just the world we live in. Um, But this fucking weirdo busted in and masturbated in a baptismal pool inside of a church. That's pretty much into story as far as I'm concerned. I don't need to know about this dude or it's in North Dakota. And... um, 
Yeah, he took his clothes off, jumped into it with the fountain near the entrance. Are you looking at a picture of the guy? Oh, God damn it! I forgot to share. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot that I had stopped sharing. Boom. I want to see this degenerate. There we go. Oh, phew. It wasn't me. No, nope, looks like one of my buddy's friends, so. But this is in North Dakota. <laughs> All right. Well, um, why would you do that, guy? Uh, he's weird. That's for sure. 75 people. I asked Zach about masturbating. masturbating and told him he cannot do that in front of others. Zach replied. Yeah. Sir, sir. Zachary said yes and that he was trying to bust a nut. <laughs> sir, naturally. I mean, we get how it works, my friend. Thanks, it's Zach. A, underneath it says, don't do meth, kids. And he was under the smoking gun, and he pled guilty. All right, next. He's like, I'm trying to butt, bust a nut. I'm high on meth and hashish. <laughs> okay. A well. baptismal fountain. Yeah. Okay. Well, so there, there he is. Go. I mean, he got the, he got what he wanted, right? Which was. Well, look at the nut. look at the friendly atheist trolling churchgoers. By spreading Never. this story. <laughs> oh, 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 no, that's the name of the site. Yeah, I know. You guys. Friendly atheists. Very friendly. Trolling those poor Christians. So next is just to feel at home. Mm. Yeah. Um, I like mm -hmm. the way this is sounding. So we've talked about this before. And this one is a user, this is uh, a Cleveland. viewer. This is sent Cleveland. In one. It is. This was sent in from Dude, I think. Ohio woman enters random home. Pets dog, washes, washes dishes. Nope. And um, also, like, threw away some garbage, recycled some stuff from what I remember reading in here. This was in Vinton County. Um, again, you know, it was nice to the dog. And, you know, kind of basically broke in and used the house as a home. Right. And it's not the first time we've covered these. They're always interesting to me because it just really shows you that um, I think this is an argument towards like UBI. Like they have, there, there are certain things that like when you have them, you would better function mm -hmm. as a person mm -hmm. or as a society if everyone was able to have certain things. But I don't know. It, it's always interesting to, to hear about those sort of stories. Uh, Deputies she, received a call. She Go looked ahead. like she may be on something. Sure, of course. Um, apparently, she was knocking on doors in nearby Hamden. Um, she appeared to be under the influence of drugs and gave them a false name. She mm. also said she'd been up for two days. I mean, yeah. yeah. But you, I think this is like a core thing, right? You're drugged, you're out of your gourd, but you're still going and you're... Nicely so is it still house. is it still burglary if you're only petting the dog and washing dishes? Wouldn't it just be like breaking and entering? Mm. It doesn't say she stole anything. Is burglary different than breaking and entering? Or I don't know. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's the act of going into someone's home is considered burglary, regardless of whether or not you take anything. Good question. It might be. Maybe that's a state by state thing. Yeah. Um, but good question, yeah. All right. Next is oh China. China doing China shit. This one is Okay, boom. Human Rights Watch reverse engineered the app that the Chinese state uses to spy on people in um thing. Shanghai, right? Xinjiang. Zing, 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 Zinjiang. Okay. Um, Xinjiang province is home to the country's Uyghur ethnic minority and people of Turkic Muslim descent. Um, is there going to be quick information about them? Um, authorities interacted with the iJob using an app, and after Human Rights Watch acquired a copy of this app, they contracted with Berlin's Cure 54 to reverse engineer it. Now they have published a massive, comprehensive, chilling report that provides the most thorough look into the cutting edge of Chinese high-tech totalitarianism ever seen. And it's significant because Xinjiang is a beta test for the rest of China. Earlier surveillance techniques that were pioneered 
had their people rough edges smoothed out and then were rolled out for all Chinese people. This is the Chinese version. Shitty technology adoption curve. When you have a terrible dehumanizing technological idea, you need to try it out first on people whose complaints go unheeded. Prisoners, people on welfare, blue collar and gig economy workers, migrants and refugees, mental patients, kids. Wow. Because the iJob app reveals that people in Zeng Zeng Zeng? Say it again, John. Zin Zheng. Zin Zheng. Zin. Yeah. Zin. So it's a That's Z. how Zin I would Zin. pronounce it. Okay, it's X's or Z's. Uh, can be flagged for activities such as activities and as innocuous as not using the front door, all right? No backdoor men in uh, Zin Zheng. Or not socializing with neighbors. Oh, okay. All right. No hermits. Wow. Don't be a hermit and use your front door like a normal person. As well as using any of 51 network tools, including VPNs, WhatsApp, and Viber. System automatically flags residents who use a phone not registered to them. Wow. And who use more electricity than their neighbors. Holy shit. Or, or who leave their assigned residential area without police permission. Oh, my gosh. Wow. The app that dispatches is... officers to investigate people who got who get new phone numbers or who socialize with foreigners. With foreigners. Wow. That's, um... Well, good for that's... Human Rights Watch, man. That's very totalitarian. I agree. That is a... Can't call that anything but. Speaking of, my buddy was asking me about a federal ID that we're going to have to get coming up soon. It's... We're gonna have to get a new. We're gonna have to get a new federal ID or a federal. Is that what a social security number is? But it's gonna like I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to. Look, I, I I didn't know if you'd heard of it or not. It sounds like no. Nice. I don't think so. Yeah. It's like that's what the social security number is for, but whatever. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So yeah, that's China. Being <clears> China. <throat> now this one's uh, this is a good visual. This is live food attacks. <clears throat> live so, food attacks the real yeah. id chinese live streamer tries to eat octopus alive nearly gets face ripped off let's watch it john i'm ah! excited <laughs> oh my god i've been waiting all day i just saw the Oh my god, pull that thing off. Oh, it's got it good. It is a no way. You are not going in. Oh, she's all alone. Like, she just looks like a biscuit. She thought it was going to be easy. This thing is like, no way. Wow. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> Wow. There's no way I would even still be holding on to that thing after I took it off like that. Did you see her eye? I mean, her eye. Oh, I felt so bad for her. Who, who put that video up? Damn. The Chinese live streamer recently demonstrated also the dudes attempted to eat live octopus from Jiangsu City in that place as a lover of seafood and decided to demonstrate the affinity through an odd challenge involving devouring a cephalopod while it's alive. See, nice. it knew yeah, well, it knew you were trying to eat him alive, and it showed yeah. you who was boss. Yeah, yeah. It went viral across the Chinese internet. Um, yeah, it, it fucked her up. She had been previously uh, complaining about her lack of fame. So, yeah, I definitely know her face. As the lady who almost got her eye ripped out by an octopus. So that was intense. You know, people do anything to live stream. We know. For sure. We get it. <laughs> um, all right. So next is Snake to the Face. Here we go. This Here we go. Yeah, this guy's just fucking. I like this out, little animal over. animal tangent we're on. We should have done this with the manatees. Yeah, that's a good point. See, I need to think about more of that. Yeah. What's oh, going boy. on? Up here? Oh, come on. What is that? Nothing's going on. So this guy, uh, doorbell camera captured the moment a snake attacked a man in a video that will make your skin crawl. Um, he's in Lawton, Oklahoma, and it was wrapped up on a porch light. Oh. 
Oh, and it just jumped. Oh! <laughs> I, I never. I watched this one, but didn't hear the audio last time. Wait, it looked like a guy <laughs> slapped him with it. Did he fall onto him? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jarrell. It looked like he instantly goes, "I gotta go to the hospital." <laughs> I like the music. Oh. The snake was wrapped around the porch when Jarrell Hayward approached. The whole thing was caught on the doorbell camera. Oh man, it just barely misses his oh, eye. Oh shit! Kurt, take me to the hospital. It probably what, what, was it even poisonous? No, but that's what he's like. That's actually pretty smart. He's like, oh shit, I could be dying right now. Damn. He did not need stitches. He's okay. All right, hey, Oklahoma. Would... Does it say what kind of? What's going on up here? Say anything what is that? That's a... That commercial um, is like dying to play. Everywhere I know. <laughs> Doesn't say, but anyways, very crazy. All right, and then last on. Well, no, we got two more. Uh, Monopoly sucks. And um, this is one for the consumers. We're talking about. Say Monopoly Apple. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Supreme Court deals Apple major setback in App Store antitrust. Case. Saw that. Saw that. Let's check this out. Oh, of course, it's gonna be a lie. The Supreme Court met, uh, ruled five four against Apple, saying iPhone users can pursue their antitrust lawsuit involving tech giant's signature electronic marketplace. App Store. They argued that the 30% commission on sales through the App Store is unfair use of monopoly power that results in inflated prices. Carl, the Supreme Court has ruled against Apple in an App Store antitrust case. Apple's shares are down. Last time I looked, more than 5%. We have reached out to Apple for a comment, but we have not heard back yet. Now, consumers Shocker. are accusing Apple of monopolizing the market for iPhone software apps and forcing them to overpay. Now, remember, the EU is also reportedly getting ready to launch a formal antitrust investigation against Apple following Spotify's official complaint, which complains that Apple uses its app store to stifle innovation and limit consumer choice. So, guys, a lot of pressure right now on Apple in terms of antitrust and the role it plays and its app store plays. Back over to you. Oh, baby. Church, I just want to make sure I have this perfectly correct this is the supreme court allowing consumers to pr to pursue this lawsuit against an alleged illegal monopoly it's not the supreme court saying that there is a monopoly oh that's correct Dang. morgan it's allowing um it is allowing consumers to look into this basically saying that they can look into the fact that apple may be monopolizing the market for iphone software apps through its app store well, I mean, I guess it's the first step of the battle. Good luck. I mean, they Good luck. Made it, they probably <laughs> definitely uh, put a little bit of a damper on it at the end there. <laughs> I wonder how. I wonder who has brought that about. Who brought that case about? And is it class action or not? Do they have enough people to consider it a class action? Is it investigative? That'll be interesting to. Fo that'll be a definite interesting story to follow. Yeah, that was interesting. Arguments in November, Apple versus Pepper. Yeah, I'd be interested to read those arguments and and like get a hold yeah. of that stuff. Yeah, it was split. Uh, the case was split. Uh, oh. The case split. President Donald Trump's two nominees to the high court. The dissent joined by his fellow conservatives, John Roberts, Clarence Thomas, and Samuel Alito. Justice Neil Gorsuch wrote that the majority created an artificial rule. The legal battle over the company's online marketplace has dragged on for nearly a decade. Yeah, it does. It's been going on for a long ass time. Wow, that's interesting. If it splits conservatives, exactly. That's, right? That's why, yeah, I remember reading that and going, "Oh, okay, that is interesting." That's just people looking at it diff from different sides. So the opinions up there too. Yep. Um, and yeah. So last Good. on our board is. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is a fun one. I don't. know. It was on Weird News, and it's the debate of the bottom boob. Um, I'm so, so I decided to put it because I have a daughter, but I'm also a man. So the bottom boob. Oh, what do we think about it? it's the new, it's the new weird trend. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, it's always been a thing, but I guess it's more of a thing now. I mean, on like, see, that's right. Just, like they're uh, making clothes to highlight that area. That's purposely designed for sure. it, like that top, right? Um, so, I mean, it's kind of weird. Like that's not super hot, right? <laughs> I mean, I think top cleavage is still the way to ultimately go. But like, that's cute. I mean, I get it. I Whatever. get it. I'm not right. I I think people wear what they want to wear. Yeah. That was just an excuse to look at ladies in bikinis. Success. Now, success. Success. Hey. Thank you to Dude. What up, Dude? Dude the, on the web. Streams. Dude on the web. In. Dude on the web. Now, this was one that was cool. I don't know why I didn't put this one up there. Um, so we're gonna go to the fattened up Spaniards that actually didn't make the rundown, but we're definitely gonna do it anyways. You're, you hate fat people. Cannibal Aztecs fattened up their Spanish conquistador prisoners for several months before eating them. Sacrifices that recreated mythological scenes. So I mean, we already knew that they were cannibals. We already knew they were fucked up and no. In the These are lot. cannibal Aztecs that fattened up their prisoners. Oh, is this an old history story, or is this like yesterday? May 8th, 2019, but um, let's see. There's still they Spanish conquistadors? Ah, oh, there we go. So they discovered that cannibal Aztecs fattened up conquistadors, right? It seems like it, yeah. They were members of a Spanish convoy from Cuba who reached Aztec territory in 1520. Um, they had supplies from conquistador Hernan Cortez. So how are they finding out that they fattened them up? Go back up to the top. Dismembered bodies of women warriors and toddlers were found. The skull of a Spaniard, a person of African heritage, alongside models of Spanish conquistador. Skull racks of the captive women reveal they may have been strung up alongside the men. An analysis of the bones shows women were pregnant and may have even been warriors. The captured convoy were held prisoner in doorless cells and were sacrificed over a period of six months, which, were, which they were well fed, according to archaeologists who studied their bones. I thought there must be something about how the weight, you can tell how much weight they were carrying based on like... Members of the convoy interior. were sacrificed over this time period, but not in random acts of bloodthirst or revenge. It was an elaborate That's ritual okay. where the Aztecs recreated That's mythological true. scenes. You don't believe them? You don't believe the archaeologists? No, I just... <laughs> it says, but not in random acts of bloodthirst or revenge. No, I guess that's true. I get, I get what they're saying. It was just more of an elaborate ritual. Yeah, an elaborate ritual. They thought differently about <laughs> life, so it wasn't like they didn't... The appear. town dwellers appear to have eaten... Oh, scroll back down a little bit. The, oh, right yeah. underneath the picture. Appear to have eaten the prisoners as well as the horses but viewed the pigs with such suspicion that they were simply killed and left uneaten. <laughs> wrong. Uh, you made the wrong choice. Yeah, you what? Have, you could have saved a lot of lives and all sat around and ate some bacon and some pulled pork. Fucking dang, man. That's exactly right. Had a little pork chop festival. Man. Well, see, that's where they went wrong. Yep. The Aztecs, that's why they died out. No rib Burning. burn off for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um... Let's see, there's more interesting pictures, okay. Worst defeats of the indigenous population of Mexico and the Spanish conquest of the continent. Shards of excavated pottery. And that's where it is. Right near... Uh, Mexico City. Mexico City, it seems. Yeah, so there you go. Very interesting. Was there anything else on this list that I didn't put? Ring the doorbell. Caption this living nightmare. So this was... Uh, the only other one, I think. Oh, they have the drug dealing zones. That one didn't make it either. So we'll go to this one first. So this is something they're trying. Um, this park in Germany has designated pink zones, areas for drug dealers. Um, this has nothing to do with the cops. Apparently, there's been a lot of problems with it in this park. So they're like, well, let's spray paint areas where people can go and do it. 
and that'll make it so you know it's it's compressed to certain areas and people can avoid it but um i mean obviously there's lots of things that don't make sense about it uh quote this method has purely practical reasoning behind it it's not that we're legalizing the selling of drugs um this guy um doesn't say what he has to do with the idea but um he said that many of the drug dealers are migrants who cannot work and suggested that the problem might be solved if the government gave them work permits instead <laughs> this all seems so weird if it's not just decriminalized yeah. it's like what are you doing you're taking all these things all these step towards what not punishing people well just decriminalize it Right. Let's see. I wonder if it's not um, what is needed to ensure that the park is drug and crime free is a constant police presence and judicial judicial resolve well, to the rep of the police trade union. Of course. Imagine that. Yeah. Harvett just said previous job dealing drugs in the park. <laughs> says according to the Guardian, drug dealers were not abiding by the new rules. Oh, really? They didn't want a fucking giant fucking <laughs> what a target on their back? Only the most retarded of the drug dealers were using the zone come on <laughs> right, right that's ridiculous wow all right and then this one um this was just a caption just an old school <laughs> chuck e cheese picture oh my god <laughs> now this guy's like reserved every now and then he comes out but it, it, you know looking at it this kid th seems fine with it you know so he's probably like a was a soldier growing up. she well she looks fine with him she looks fine with the mouse too and he the guy's looking at the pizza the dad's looking <laughs> yes. at the pizza yes. and the boy and the mom are both looking at the mouse like hey how's it going <laughs> <laughs> and he's like looking at the pizza going oh, hey mozzarella how's it going pepperoni <laughs> typical yeah, typical dude. They're like, okay, you, 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 you're into that, and she's into the. Yeah, well, I mean, she looks quite hopeful that this mouse might adopt her son and uh, yeah. rescue her from this pizza eating. God yeah. knows what. Lay it down like a real rat. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, all right. So now this is going around. Boom! Two more victims found in German crossbow murder mystery. Mystery. Wow, couldn't get that out. Authorities searching the home of one of the victims in a weakened crossbow murder mystery finds two more bodies. Whoa. This is a lower, uh, this is a country, Germany has a very low murder rate. Uh, they search an apartment of a 30 year old woman who, with two others, was fairly shot with crossbows in an upstairs room of a German B&B. Oh my two God. Two more victims died the same way at her place. Um, this was Monday. None of the five None victims of... have been identified. Detectives went to the home after it was discovered that she had booked the triple room in the B&B &B under her name. One of the victims may be the 30-year-old woman's sister. Neighbor said the 30-year-old was quiet and dressed in a gothic style. And one neighbor yeah. said she never greeted anyone. So we have conflicting stories from the neighbors on this person. The well, girls... really? That's the same thing. <laughs> quiet and goth and she never greeted him oh 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 i got you yeah you're right you're yeah. right you're right um hours away from the macabre discovery at the b and b where a 30 year old woman a 33 year old woman and a 54 year old man were found in a chambermaid by a chambermaid in a triple room they were all impaled by cross arrows known as bolts Holy the older man God. was described as a skilled archer who often carried crossbows in his white pickup truck. Interesting. So I would instantly look for people that knew him and were archers with him. Uh, the man and the older of the two women who were both from Rhineland and uh, apparently didn't live together. They were found hand in hand on the double bed with several arrows protruding from the chest and head. Jesus. One arrow nearly went all the way through the man's head according to several German oh, press outlets. God. Okay, it doesn't seem like something they tell us in American press. No, they don't. Um, they, not right? Like they don't tell you that kind of shit. Jesus. Yeah, they don't say it was like it, like it was protruded their head and they were slumped over yeah, a pool of blood right? on the floor. Um, a younger woman with one arrow slumped in a pool of blood on the floor. Police revealing suspect motive or precise method for the triple homicide 
or even if it is being considered a murder-suicide, but they have so far excluded the possibility of a killer on the loose. What? They have so far excluded the possibility. We still assume that no other people were involved in the deaths of the three. Who the fuck did it then? You're saying someone killed themselves with an arrow? It's That's what it sounds like. It sounds like there were like five people in the... It, and then it says, look, at it says a hotel guest told the newspaper, McCure, that the group was strange and that the man had a long white beard and wore a formal suit. The women were reportedly wearing all black. They'd asked for food, but since the kitchen had already closed, they took snacks and soft drinks to their room. Oh, okay. I'm getting, I'm all of a sudden. The two crime scenes are 40, 430 miles apart. Tell me what you think. Now I'm suddenly getting a um, a cult vibe. Cult vibe or like a, yeah, like a... a centric head dude, mm-hmm. other people followers, getting talked into something stupid. Like, right. I I mean, this is, yeah. The hotel guest told, okay, yeah, that's what you read. 430 miles apart. Crossbows are legally purchased 18 and over for hunting. It's not yet clear whether the crossbows found at the crime scene were used by, were those used by hunters or wreck archers. Yeah, and, and like it says there, it's, a, it's rare. So they're going to find this person or these people that did it. Interesting. Hmm. So that was, this was published um, yesterday. Wow. Yesterday afternoon. So, yeah. That was an interesting one. So now we'll go, as we're wrapping up, Good Let's job, Barbie NATO. Boom. Let's see what we got for today. Man arrested for striking sleeping girlfriend with his cheeseburger. I'm not sure if that's illegal. Spider Man apparently catches thieves just like flies and fastens his safety belt by inserting the tab into the metal buckle. Hmm. It says okay. amusing. That doesn't sound amusing. <laughs> Maybe. Coming soon to a flight near you, Spider Man United Airlines CEO. Star and camp. Okay, go back. No. No. Yeah. It was strange. Yeah, man, arrested. Uh, uh, Who got the Fark not newsletter? Say again. Do I always get? Is Fark the ones that it says Fark not newsletter? Who got butt hurt over what a Fark headline said about him? Plus, learn about how to get a green light from Drew. All right, let's check it out. This is posted by Dissemination Monkey. Hey, kid, want to get more green lights? Scroll down to read above Drew's selection criteria for FARC headlines. In the case you missed um, it, FARC managed to earn squirrely wrath of Ben Shapiro, who last week, because of this thread, and a good time was had by all. FARC pissed off Ben Shapiro. He'll get over it. Labeling science as mansplaining is pretty demeaning towards women. Fark.com. Women understand science, too. Labeling science as mansplaining is pretty demeaning towards women. Hmm. It's a Jake, Jake Havacek, Ryan's brother, said uh, he's <laughs> an obnoxious little puke, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's... He's definitely pompous, yeah. Thanks what for the twat. subtonic says thanks for the clicks, Drew. <laughs> uh, interesting. Well, all right. Yeah. And then you know, Ferk's ideas. Some of the smartest and funniest comments from the week. Okay, we don't need to do that. Okay, I see. He's got kind of a little synopsis, headlines together. Scroll. Uh, mm-hmm. Did it say scroll down for his criteria? Fark headline tips. I don't want to read all those. That's a, that's a lot. No, we'll just read the headlines. We're not here to read the rules. <laughs> um, F- Wisconsin, we're number one. Now grab me another beer. It's got to be about beer. Accessibility and acceptability. How Wisconsin developed the high tolerance for booze. Mm. Um, Let's get to the point here. 
the 2019 survey from the State Department of Natural Resources Bank is just behind walking and running. That's eating and drinking outside. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone likes doing that. Come on. What's this? Okay. Oh, look at that. Look, look at that heat map. The ratio of bars to grocery stores. This is a map by Nathan Yao of Flowing Data. Okay, I'm interested. Bars by grocery stores. Ohio is like a Fuck. fourth or fifth right. on the list, man. It looks, it looks like that goes from Chicago all the way around to Wisconsin. It, I'd say so. And it looks like Milwaukee is actually the epicenter. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. Now, Ohio's not doing too bad. I'm pretty proud of Ohio. There's... Yeah, yeah. I like to think that we have lots of breweries and, and stuff, but yeah. I mean, yeah. No, you, you have more grocery stores. You guys are tame. Yeah. Look at the Dakotas. The Dakotas, they got some bars over there, isn't that the Dakotas? Here? Yeah. And then, yeah, as soon as you get, like, southeast. Oh, my God. That's, well, you know, that's south of the Mason-Dixon line. I don't know. And then what's this? This, like, dead area. It's dead zone. That's nothing. It's like. That's Utah. You don't have groceries. They don't have groceries or bars. Yeah. They're like, you're fucking growing your wheat. Amish bucks. You're not drinking. You're not. Yeah, that's totally what it is. They're like, there's a couple gold blips on Texas. It looks like there's one gold blip on Louisiana. Yeah. Some in New York. It looks like it, it, over in New York, that's New either York's like by good. Pennsylvania too. That could be Schittsburg. Like Jersey's all yeah, it's pretty yellow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. I like that's that. A that's a good map. It's cool a good map. Yeah. All right, in our blood. Yeah, okay, that was good enough. Boom. Um, tiny blood sucking parasites discovered in the UK maternity ward. Eek. Not just babies, bed bugs too. Oh. Hey, hey. gross. Zing. Bed bugs found in King's College Hospital postnatal. That's so sad. Five, Five millimeter long babies. Oh. oh, there they are. Oh, little babies. Oh, and they bite. Mm, spots I don't of want to blood hear on about bedding that. bites or from squashing a bed bug. Small brown spots on bedding and furniture. All right, well, that's weird. Man. I don't want to hear that for little babies. All right, here we go. One of the six most festive ambulance trips to the hospital you will read about today. There we go. Now we're talking. Talk about it. Oh, some old lady. MDA medics regularly drive elderly women to hospital for dialysis, dialysis treatment. Prepared her surprise on an ambulance for eighty first birthday. Uh, I don't That's know. sweet. It's nice. How <laughs> nice. How nice. Florida man apparently really likes Halloween. Did I mention really liking Halloween? Okay. No, nope, I'm ready for you, Ad. Highway patrol arrested a man who was suspected of stealing a box truck full of caskets. Okay. Why, dude? What were you gonna do with them? A twenty. Sell them on the black chase. market. Sell them on the black market. There's a black market for, I guess, for everything. It's news to me. Buy it with Bitcoin. Ten times more pressure. Twenty-five miles on Interstate 295. That was a long ass commercial. Mm. And the ads loading again. Today, after Florida Highway Patrol says he was driving a stolen box truck containing stolen caskets. So an FHP trooper ran tags on a rider truck that was driven by David Ayers on I-295 and Wilson Boulevard. He found that truck was actually reported stolen the previous Thursday. FHP says Ayers failed to stop for the trooper and continued traveling between 55 to 60 miles an hour. The 39-year-old finally stopped at MLK Parkway in Moncrief Road. Officers then found three stolen caskets inside the truck, they say. He was arrested and charged with theft of a vehicle and driving with a suspended or revoked oh, license. On. The caskets are believed to have been stolen from a funeral home or a casket company. That's so ridiculous, you guys. Three caskets. They show a moving truck with three caskets, and it's a, a, arrested after allegedly stealing a truck full of coffins. I think that's a little bit of a... Who's the... I see it's Dan Kansian. Kansian, yeah. Well, who does he work for? Newsweek? 
So look uh, at the headline. Uh, it says Florida man arrested after allegedly stealing truck full of coffins. Now, when I read right. that, right, I think this is a legit truck full of coffins. Da 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 da. It's a moving van filled that has three caskets and a bunch of other freaking junk in it. Right. Now, I know you can't put that on your headline, but it's like, <laughs> you know, it's not like it was a, I mean, I guess. it was. Well, we truck, added it thinking that, right? So, the I truck mean, wasn't full. Job. Yeah, he got it. Dan got <laughs> us. Dan got the us. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, there, there's one more I, I saw. Farmer has two options. Die, probably. Cut off his own <laughs> leg with a dang pocket knife. What? Holy shit. Okay. From Let's Omaha.com. Nebraska farmer caught in an auger amputates what's left of his leg with a pocket knife. Oh, shit. In a shit. super baller move. Dude, first of all, oh. farmers are badass to begin with. Yeah. Get it caught in an auger. Ouch. Get it caught in an auger and have to cut it yeah. off with a shitty ass pocket knife. Oh, my Remind God. me what an auger is. What I'm, I'm auger is like a drill. Auger is like a drill. That, okay. And that's right. so, Bye. yeah, he's probably tilling the soil. Oh. Man, oh man. What's his name? He's a hero. Is this this guy? Is this something else? Kurt Kayser. Got it caught in a uh, conveyor belt or apron of a silage wagon. I was cleaning it off and I left the PTO running, which was a mistake, but I got caught him. underneath the apron and the metal him. plate on the bottom of the. Uh... <laughs> That's weird. But okay. This is like Fox News that we. Yeah, what did okay, that, well, what did it say under that video we were just watching? Um Oh, no, that's it. About what happened it says a uh, lifelong corn, soybean and hog farmer was transferring green from one bin to another when he stepped into a grain auger. The machine ate away his left leg and sucked the 63-year-old towards the machine. Oh. Didn't know what to do. I was afraid it was going to suck me in more. I about gave up and let it do what it was going to do. So he pulled out his three-inch pocket knife and yeah. hacked away his leg. Oh, damn, Fuck, man. dude. Hey. Hey. Wow. Wow, that dude is a badass. Mr. Kayser. Hmm. Kayser saw the machine remove his foot from his body and tear away his flesh about eight inches below his knee. He found the smallest connection of tissue and determined it was best chance to set himself free. He sawed away muscle and nerves, cutting through a half inch. Wait, cutting through a half inch to an inch before he came through. The bone stuck down to my ankle. That's what I was hanging on to as I was trying to get myself out. Dude, Ugh. I can't even. I can't Jesus. even. Jesus. Whew. And then he crawled 200 feet to the nearest phone, called his son, um, who is on the local rescue saw squad. Oh, wow. First to arrive to the farm, took his father to town. They didn't. How is he not dying from blood loss? Well, he probably. He, he, I, I would be willing to bet either the guy did his own tourniquet. If he can cut off his leg with a knife, you know that he can wrap his shirt around his leg and stop the bleeding. Or his son did when he's the minute he got there. That's a fair point. I mean, he knows how to take care of himself. Right. I mean, he's a farmer. He he knows how to do a tourniquet. Damn. There he is. Well, well, I'll tell you what. He better not be farming anymore. Not that he can't, but hopefully he why? doesn't have to. Right. Hopefully. You're you're yeah. old enough. It, now might be time to call it quits. You fell in the auger. God damn. Poor dude. That's crazy. Mm. That was a crazy one. All right. Um. Okay. Georgia professor found dead near hot tub of man who kills himself. Another man is arrested. <laughs> Police receive a report of a drowning at the home, but authorities believe the professor was strangled. Dun, dun, dun. With a rope in the conservatory? <laughs> there he is. Okay, he kind of looks like that. He could. Yeah, yeah, he looks like a professor. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to people who are not in our business, but when we first arrived at the crime scene, there was something about it that was not right, and it was just kind of bizarre, a different kind of case. 
He had been dead for about two hours before police were called before they have records of literally calling people Saturday night and asking them how to perform CPR and basically how to save a life. Knew each other for about four years. He was once a clinical psychologist, but was no longer licensed owning a yoga studio. So, he, okay, okay, I can start. Well, I'm Lilith was to a get car salesman who had recently yeah. quit his job. Shockley's faculty profile said she had a doctorate in entomology. Oh, in entomology. Isn't that like bugs? Interesting. Okay. I don't think that's what entomology is, is it? No. Entomology. Hey! Oh, look at you. Uh, Winning. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Winning. All right. Um, criminal mastermind tries to use the highway carpooling with a dressed skeleton as his passenger. Wow. That's silly. Arresting officer to be rewarded with Scooby snacks. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Virginia man being called a serial killer confesses the murder of two women and a teenage girl but claims it was an accident and he's a carny. Okay, well, I don't think we can even click on that one. That's pretty Guarantee nice. you that was not an accident. Ron Jeremy's nope. rear takes some pounding. <laughs> Written in awkward under Mail Online. All right, let's see. Ron Jeremy surveys the damage following his third car accident. Oh, geez. Wow, that's a good headline. Wow, oh, they man. got you there. That is a good they headline. got you there. <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? Who, who the sent mail. that? The Daily Mail. Daily Mail UK. Yeah. Should have known. Should have known yeah. clickbait bullshit from them. Exxon saying, scientists said in a paper from 1982 that in 37 years, CO2 will be at 515 parts per million and temperatures will rise about one degree. So. We are farted. Um, because the world is needed it. True. Man, speed record for a tuk tuk. What the fuck's a tuk tuk? We don't want to know. No. Oh. Is that a tuk tuk? He went seventy four miles be. per hour. Well, way to go, bud. I don't understand why that's so. Like, what's like? <laughs> good job. What the fuck? What is it? It's just a good job. You ride your crappy tricycle. Yeah, your crappy hell? motorized tricycle into the Guinness Book of World Records. You were slower than Congra everyone on the Congratulations, way. nerd. Now get out of that stupid vehicle. <laughs> um, oh, 70 year old man puts dead wife in passenger seat, drove across to Arizona. Police charge him with abandonment or concealment of a body, even though the body was neither concealed nor abandoned. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> Okay, I mean, he what's he looking bar. at? Like he's like they go to they go to take his mugshot, and he's like, "Oh fuck, a mouse." <laughs> <laughs> he sees his wife over there, Rodney Puckett. He looks like a Rodney Puckett. Yeah, old Rodney Puckett. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. he was a quiet man. Ironically, in Sand Springs, Oklahoma, a couple were issued protective orders against each other on February sixth, and Linda filed for divorce on February eighth. Rodney was reported missing, but he was in a Kansas jail. Interesting. Mm. Hmm. Alright. Shady. Uh, what? The fuck? Okay, that's pretty gross. Let's go into this one. These f dairy devils are making cheese from celebrities' bacteria. Okay. Come on. What? A team of renegade cheesemakers will showcase. Go ahead. Where, I, where were you even looking? Uh, a team of renegade cheesemakers will showcase some very outre cheese at oh. Victoria and Albert's Museum forthcoming exhibition. Uh. Former Great British Bake Off finalist and author Ruby Tando, the singer-songwriter Suggs, and the rapper Professor Green all volunteered their bodily bacteria for science. More specifically, a chef, a synthetic biologist, and a bio-designer turn their body swabs into starter culture for the five cheeses that make up the exhibit named self-made that is so disgusting <laughs> no <laughs> no oh, what gross. the heck man people are so crazy that's cool i guess you got to push the envelope yeah i mean we're talking about it so Uh, 
Alright, I'm interested in this one. Haunting D-Day photos captured. Oh, I saw the, I saw this one. Oh wow, okay. This haunting photograph which captured the moment a group of Nazi soldiers surrendered to US troops on D-Day has been released. I'm sorry, why is it haunting? What's haunting about this? Good question. I think they're just using that. Maybe that's like the safe word for Nazi stuff. They got to say it's haunting whenever they use Nazi shit, right? I guess. Here, let me tell you this. There's a debate. Do you agree with it being illegal to own Nazi memorabilia for it being just outright illegal? Uh, is it outright illegal? From what I understand, right? Am I wrong? I think you just can't just no if, ands, or buts have Nazi stuff. Uh, that's a good question. I, I think or or you can have it, but you can't. Can't put it on display. It. Yeah. Well, you can't even get it, right? It's like right. That, I think like, if it's yours, it, but you I can't think if it's yours, it, you can, or if you yeah. got it when you were over there, and you know, or you pass it down to your kids. I think that's. I mean, what are you gonna do? What? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. It's a good, good, good discussion, though. I just. Yeah, it's interesting. To me, it's it's. It's um, it's kind of like the statues that everyone talks about, right? Of like the Civil War. I think they have a place in museums. I love museums. That is the place for them to give context. But when you're putting them out there in the public, it has a different meaning, right? Right. Um, or like walking into someone's home and you see the flag up on the wall. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's a little different, right? So that's I think a sign to turn around. About Nazi memorabilia. It's like it has its place as it's very interesting that people can go to the that length um and you know there's very lots of interesting and and uh, useful things you know to to reflect back on the nazis and on world war ii so i think yeah it's it's worth acknowledging um but certainly yeah you don't want people making money off like selling it i guess i guess that makes sense so i can't believe june is the 75th anniversary i know right that's great normandy i remember Way back in the day, I was pretty young, probably a teenager, and um, we, I don't know who, how we knew this person, but we randomly ended up making, um, clearing out an old person who had died um, belongings from their house, and they lived near Bremerton, which is a big naval base okay. up in Seattle. And um, I remember finding there a, I still have it somewhere, a... Uh, damn, I can't remember the name of the metal, but it's an eagle holding a thunderbolt mm -hmm. and it's on a star and apparently during world war one they were really hard to get and they were like really um sought after or it was like really important if you got one and then by world war ii they were giving them out a lot more but i found that and a picture of um of um macarthur general macarthur mm -hmm. sell signing it's that famous picture of him on um a battleship and he's signing the it's like the declaration of the end of or the beginning of the war i think it's the end it's the end of the war and so i it was just it, i it always stuck with me for some reason that it was like i'm cleaning up this person's house because they didn't have a family to do it apparently or you know i was the closest family they had and they have this medal and they have this picture that obviously meant something to them it was framed it was nice and it just was like it was i don't know I don't know why I even brought it up. It was just one of those weird things where, oh, because of World War II, mm -hmm. that it always stuck with me that, oh, damn, this person's kind of just coming and going. They had this huge part in this pivotal moment in history, right? And so many of them still kind of just get washed away. These pictures meant so much to them. I ended up keeping them. The the medal I still have, I don't know whatever happened to the picture, but but it was like, it was hard to get rid of that stuff. I was like, this meant something to someone. and Yeah. It was, you know, it was kind of cool in that way. So oh, I, for I, sure. Yeah. For sure. All right. Winding down here. We're getting to the end here. Um, <laughs> for, I just like that headline. For some strange reason, more and more people are trying to get their face tattoos removed as they get older. No word on how how will everybody else know how unique and edgy they are. <laughs> 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 they could have, they could have change the wording but i'm not even gonna go to it because fox news but yeah you know green and a metal band actually kind of yeah everyone was getting tattoos when i was growing up yeah you know, i'm in a band since i'm like 17 and it's like yeah 
for some, whatever reason, I've always been that guy. You know, everyone wants to see Titanic. It's going to be a letdown the day I see it, right? Everyone talks it up. I'm never going to see that movie because the day I see it, it's like, yeah, I mean, I guess it was all right, right? Game of Thrones. I don't know if I'll ever sit down and watch it all because it's, yeah. I hear everyone. I don't worry about the spoilers. Mm -hmm. So it's like, no, whatever. And I've never watched it. What about the one? There's one called News Channel 3. It says, dumbass. Suspects wanted for Dollar General robberies across Mississippi hope to score enough gas money to get out of Mississippi. It's fourth from the bottom. Um, a dollar store robbery. That's high end. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. Like, that's why I like the headline is like <laughs> robbing dollar stores with hopes to get out of gas money Jerry, to get out of Mississippi. Jerry the King the Waller. Waller. Oh, Whoa. Jerry, this is the first commercial. And I want to invite watch. all of Memphis. The He's Bicentennial Beatdown. Watch World Championship Boxing Friday, May 7th. Whoa. It's a real fight. I may get in the ring and challenge Floyd. May 17th at the wrong. FedEx Forum. Starring LaDarius oh, Memphis yeah. versus Fernando. She's definitely not good at Jerry the King Lawler. Dude, but the, production the production quality of this commercial is high end. <laughs> Tickets on sale now at the FedEx Forum box office. City Master. They could have killed somebody that night. Billy Hyman's doesn't want his face shown on television. He was hiding in the back of a Dollar General when three masked gunmen robbed the store in Marshall County, Mississippi, two months ago. To be I just heard somebody come in screaming, yelling, uh, open the drawer. Oh, they're still on the loose. That's the why he doesn't want to show his face. He's the like, Red no, Bank good. store is just one of six Dollar Generals that have been robbed in the last three months. Investigators say the first Dollar General robbery happened March 10th in Atala County, Mississippi. Over the next 10 days, three more stores were hit including one in Abbeville, just 30 minutes before the Red Bank's location was robbed. Deputies say in each robbery, three masked men entered the store just before closing, armed with guns, and in each case, several shots were fired. Detectives say when the suspects entered the Red Bank's location, they became even more violent. They went and got the female from where she was at her workstation, brought her back to the register where the safe was located at, held a gun to her, because they had no... I can't hear you. So they're dangerous and reckless, it seems. So that's kind of scary. Hopefully they get caught. Um, it hits a jet, and it's Chancellor Merkel's jet. Okay. Accidentally grounds Chancellor's plane <laughs> by not putting on their... Wow. They're grounded by an excited fan who jumped out of her van to take a photo of it at the Dartmouth Airport. Or the Dartmouth Airport, um, but forgot to put on the parking brake. Oh, what a dipshit! Nose of the jet. What an idiot! <laughs> and wait, hold on. And how loosey goosey is their right that that a security? car right oh, that fuck. a car is like that close to her plane? That could easily be a gunman jumping out. We would have thought about that, but Merkel, they don't. They don't care about Merkel. Like right, that. right. <laughs> um, Wiener's out. Wiener's out. It's a follow-up. <laughs> Release from... Oh, oh yeah, Wiener. baby. Release from custody. It's good to be out. What's going on up here? What is that? Wiener's out. That's classic. Okay. I should have seen that a mile away. <laughs> Three months after um, he traded federal prison for a halfway house in the Bronx. The disgraced former congressman. And the failed, failed candidate. candidate. Hey, you know, fuck that. He could still run for Congress. You'd probably get in. Yeah. Well, the story's so. on. Oh. We get to see Wiener. Yeah. To do that. I did do that. Today, I am announcing my resignation from Congress. Yeah! People were on his train, too. He was, um, he talks a good game. Oh, yeah, he was ready. He was ready. He's just a little bit of a weirdo, but, um, now... Maybe you can embrace it. Who knows? Biden, gosh, have you, did you hear, I didn't ever do the story, but there's a video out there of Biden talking and it sounds like he had a stroke. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if we covered it, but after I heard that, I was like, yeah, there's no way he wins. He's not going to win. No I can't believe that they would even want him to win the nomination. There's so many people running though. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Um, let's see. Anything else in these last few? 
let's look at this. Hallelujah at the... Oh, well, that's just an awesome picture. That's all that is. There's nothing to... Hallelujah. That's, that's all we have to say. Yeah. I wish uh, I was on that South coastline. I wish I lived I on that coastline. Right? Oh, okay. This is interesting. That's a good that's a good move, actually. South African man arrested for lying and eating free KFC for a year. Twitter calls him a legend. Well, because he is, sir. The South African man was arrested for eating at KFC for free for a year. He used to tell employees that he was sent from the headquarters for quality insurance. Is that easy? <laughs> God damn it. Wow, that's like the oldest trick in the book. It's that easy. That's funny. Uh, quality check here. I got the uh, badge, so going to need some chicken. <laughs> that is classic. A university student. Yep, yep. The, mm, yep, mm, yep, yep that's Sounds Looks pretty good. Next time, maybe a little longer on the cook, but... We're good. I'm gonna let you pass this time. I'll be next back next week though. <laughs> um, Clean the bathroom. Yeah, every single time he used to walk into KFC and with a lot of confidence and tell employees. That's why you walk in, you just act like you're supposed to be there, and you'll win a lot of people over just by doing that. I learned that with journalism and like getting into events. You know, half the time you can just show up and be like, "I'm here to cover the event," and they're like, "Oh, okay." You know? Yeah. Oh, it, it works. Yeah, it's some places thing. will ask for your credentials, and other places you just show them. Or yeah, have... well, I'm thinking about just printing out my own credentials, you right? Can. Because that's legal. You can just have mm -hmm. saying I'm part of the press, and so that's probably what I'll do. Yep. But yeah, so that's um, that's it for the farkness for today. That's weird news, everybody. You can comment on our posts, and we you, though we will consider your links that you send as submissions. And you might make the next episode. You never know. Of TSP Productions Weird News. Yeah. I definitely want... Um, I don't know. if. It, do you think if we did the steaming pile this month, it would be best to do it on a Tuesday in place of the weird news? Or would we be able to find a, other, a different night to do it? Um, Thoughts. I'm either I'm here nor there. I think we can do it either one. I think we can either replace as long as we announce it in time, or we can do another one. I can do another one. Yeah, I'd like to at least explore being able to do a different night mm -hmm. so that we can, you know, there's no reason. Yeah, to differentiate. To, yeah, exactly. To think that we'd have to stop one and not the other. Yeah. Um, we just want to do the one monthly. Um, I have not gotten any traction for the forums yet. Um, from the people I'm reaching out to. But I'm reaching pretty high um, just because if we're going to do it and put the time in, I figured let's at least try it first for some higher ups. But we might end up being doing people that are a little less and high profile. We're, right. And with where we're at right now, we might not even be able to do one until June. Because two weeks away, the month oh, is over. No, no, no. I get what you mean. Yeah, definitely. I'd say for the forum. Yeah, we'll definitely be pushing yeah. that to yeah, yeah, we don't want yeah. to rush it. So, good point. I see what you're saying. Yeah, so yeah. we'll be we'll, we'll keep doing weird news. You guys can keep coming in and watching and hang and come in live if you want. And then we're gonna plan on our end to do another panel for the steaming pile in June. Exactly. We got right. a lot of well, shit in June. You do? Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. I gotta go to. I'm actually going to talk to Patrick because I'll be in his neck of the woods for a weekend. Oh, nice. Going okay. down to Kentucky, one of our content providers is making a full feature film, so I'm line producing down there. What's line producing? Line producing is keeping the uh, actors where they need to be and what they need to have so that the director can focus on each scene. So, like, communication, letting actors, like, kind of know where the locations are, if they have questions, da 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 Now, are you handling, like, writers and stuff, too? Writers? No. Just, like, no. just actors. No, well, or no, not writers. Writers. I mean, writers. The writers of the, with an R, the writers of the actors. Or is it no one high profile enough that no you're dealing with No one high profile that? enough. Yeah, okay. Yep. One day, I don't one think... day you'll be dealing with that shit. Brown M&Ms only, John. 
It's fine. It's fine. Everyone gets tased. That's my motto. <laughs> nice. There you go. That really keeps everyone in line. Oh, yeah. It? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, All yeah, right, I am going to be using the uh, the channel for TSP um, OG for the steaming pile. Actually, yeah, the steaming pile OG. Yeah, that was right. Um, for topics to build up towards either – Hopefully, I'm sure we can figure out one for this month, um, and starting with the new streaming service. So we'll look into that more, and I don't know, maybe next week I'll. Yeah, that's a more. good call. That's a good call. We might be able to get people from that service on there. There's a couple other ones, exactly, on Steam that I noticed that were coming up. Like there's a couple like gig economy type stuff where the guy wants to focus on like U logs and a couple other stuff. So I have to just go back and put that in there for submission. Have you look at it and then start our invites. Perfect. Yeah, that's really what I want is okay. just we can consolidate those early um, episodes that we had and that kind of feel, right? Mm -hmm. um, with just, you know, it just seems like it wasn't as often happening. So this is just our way to kind of – those episodes are just going to be slam-packed full of good interviews or whatever we – Okay. Get, so Cool. I will, I will take the links – that I was looking at today and get them in there. Cool. All right. All right, well, man. Good night. Happy Tuesday. I'll see you next Tuesday. I'll see you in Discord. And um, good night, everybody, uh, out on DLive and wherever else uh, you're watching. Good night, everyone. See you, DLive. See you, Vim. We're out of here. Weird News. I called it Weird News Weekly on mine. Perfect. Weird News Weekly. Thank <laughs> you.